Hello there, it's Graham from Utopia Cottages. Just a little tutorial today on getting larger files around the internet and pictures, scans, whatever. Basically around the internet. Now, a lot of people find trying to email large pictures or even nowadays of a good digital camera, 7 megapixel camera, most of the time it doesn't get through on the email for one reason or another so let's just have a look at what can we do about this well let's go find some files first and let's, let's have a look at what we got here okay my computer All right we got a whole bunch of uh, <coughs> photos my chainsaw. So you can see that's 2.65 meg, 2.37, 2.93, megabytes. So you can see, you know, 2.41. So you can see basically the problem we've got is each of those attachments on a paid email service, you'd get them through on a free account you struggle to get more than two or three through so let's have a look what can we do right let's go and get a Google and we can zip a file up so if we want to go and get a zipper we can a zip what it actually is a zipped file or a compressed file very simply for you nice ladies out there in the world with a big handbag which you call a paperwork and files and folders in your handbag and zip it up. For us gentlemen with a nice lady on her arm, we get all the paperwork, chuck it in a handbag and get her to zip it up. And what you then end up with is a single folder or single container with all your paperwork stroke files inside it. So let's go and have a look, see what we can do. 7-zip, nice little program. And we'll go and have a look. Now there's things like WinZip, WinRAR, uh, Archive. There's a whole load of zipping compression software. 7-zip is free. You don't have to pay for it. To me, that's good. So, download. And we just got this happening here. Save file. And that's coming down now. Right. Okay. Open container folder. And we'll just run that. Double click left. Yes. Finished. Right, we'll get rid of that for a moment. <coughs> and go and find 7-zip. There. Right. My pictures are in my F drive Graham's desktop storage PIX1 That's where they are So we'll just put that down there out of the way So we go computer F drive, Graham's desktop storage, PIX1, and we've got image 1288 to image 1315. So we click on the top one, hold the shift key down, click on the bottom one. 
Now we're going to add that to an archive. Now we need to call it something. So we'll call it a chain so hyphen picks. I like numbers, 99. Everything else is just the same. Just leave it as it is. Click OK. And now it's compressing. Doesn't take too long. I mean, we're sipping up actually 59 meg there. So that's, you know, a reasonable chunk. Now, because these are JPEG images, they don't actually compress that well because a JPEG image is a compressed image anyway. Now, if it is a TIFF or a bitmap or PNGs, um, other file formats, text files, document files, then they would come up quite nicely. So that's where our so twelve eighty eight to thirteen fifteen. Not a problem. Easy. Okay, what do we do now? Well, they're the pictures. Now we want to have a Google or a browser. And we're going to type in www.sendthisfile.com. Now, send files for free, what you'll do is uh, click on send files for free, you get a free plan. You don't want to pay for the 15 day trial, you know, free plan, that's what we want. And you'll make yourself an account, so it's an email address that you're going to send it from. You confirm the email address, type in the password, confirm the password, agree, register. That then will send an email to your account, which is whatever this email was here. And in that email will be a link going back to this site to a different page which is a verification page and when you get back to that page you have to type in a little silly number, a letter, password thing only for the once, just to prove it's you now I did this the other day and I'll just show you the two friends which um, I'm going to be using right, there they are and He's Little Ted, and he's Big Ted. Using those emails, because after the video, they'll be deleted from the s server, so we don't end up with loads of uh, junk mail. And there's another picture. So that's the computer I use. That's the screen you're watching at the moment, and this is where I keep all my other stuff I drag in. Okay, so my account, send files, so it's going from little teddy utopiacottages.co.uk to big teddy and we'll put in a little message, hi mate, 
some chainsaw picks for you to look at. Okay, love little Ted. Now what we do is we browse to the folder. So this is in F drive. And that's the zipped file. And we go open. And that's where it puts it. So the next thing to do then is just go send this file. And I don't know quite why that's uh, initializing slow. Right, that's completed successfully. Right, so what we need to do now is go and get the email. And just waiting for that to come in. Right, okay. Just pulling this over now. Okay, just hold a moment. Let me grab that. Come across. So, what we've got now in my web mail, I've got an email from send this file. So, we click that link. And what it will say, notification subject is files at sendthisfile.com two big teddy utopia cottages the reply or from is little teddy click down here and we've got send this file and we'll just pull that down right that's come down open containing folder So we know where that is. Right, what we'll do is we'll just uh, minimize that. And send the file download, we don't need that anymore. Right, okay. So we open the, temp the folder where it is and we'll just copy that to the desktop. yes get rid of that so we can see what we're doing but see if you right click open containing folder wherever it's put it you can just drag it to your desktop it's just easier so go on away you go so once we've dragged it onto the desktop if you right click with your mouse you've got a 7 zip tab Extract files here, and that's done that. So let's go and okay. So, what we've got now is the pictures on the desktop. There we go. There we are. Now obviously, if you wanted, you could 7-zip, extract files, and you could put them inside its own folder there. In which case, you will see them here. Simple as that. So. Thank you for watching, and they're my two friends, Boss Foreman. See you folks, hope you enjoyed it. Graham, Utopia Cottages.